So in building a business, you're always going to run into the haters, the trolls, the cynics, um, those people who don't understand what you're trying to do. You can try to convince those people why you're true or authentic, or you can just go and live your life. One of the advantages of being successful, or one of the disadvantages of being successful is you're, you're going to get in front of people who don't get it, like they don't understand it. And you know, like you can fight with those people, but in that fighting with those people is not to change their mind, but it's to change the mind of the people who are viewing that conversation, whether it be viewing it online or hearing it online. So I do love to engage with people who are cynics or skeptical and, and really like re-emphasize re what we're about, what we're trying to do, the decisions we make, why we do them. And, you know, really we have confidence in our products, that our products are uh, the best on the marketplace, in my opinion. And uh, we believe that our company serves our, our customers better than any company out there as well. And when you have confidence in what you're doing and you know that you're gonna be doing this for the next 20 years, there's no reason for me to back down. I think there's always gonna be critics of, of what you're doing and how you're doing it. So the critics of whether Beard Brand is a premium grooming company, uh, when they're focused on the wrong things, I guess. Um, I don't give it much credence, really, because our, our customers feel it and they know. And even the people who interact with us who haven't yet become customers feel it and they know. And if our Im mission to help men improve were a device to sell products uh, for real, I would probably feel a little bit more defensive about it. But it's not. It, it matters. That's why we're here. And um, it, if people don't see that or don't believe it, that's okay. They don't, they don't need to be Beard Brand customers. But the Beard Brand customers and the people who interact with us, the, the community, the Beard Brand community, um, appreciate it. And they know it's coming from an authentic place. And that's what matters. I actually, I have a 23-year-old cousin who is growing a beard. And he told me last I saw, it was like holidays last year, um, I was complimenting his artwork. And I, I told him, you know, this photography is great and product photographers are hard to come by. You should consider that. And he's like, oh, well, thanks. I use Beard Brand as inspiration. You guys have a, a great aesthetic. And I was like, oh, well, thank you. He's like, yeah, I, I did not think that your products were worth it. I spent so much money trying all of the cheaper competitors to you because I, I didn't believe that there really could be that much of a difference. And then I finally just bought some Beard Brand product and it's so worth it. And now I spend my whole paycheck at Beard Brand. I was like, dude, you're my cousin. I could have like, I could have gotten you some products to try a while back and you wouldn't have had to take this journey. But that was very validating for me. I'm not motivated by by profits or making more money. Like I've got everything I need in life. For me, my mission is to, to empower men and to make men awesome. That's what's driving me. And the only way I can affect more people is if we can grow the company. And for us to grow the company, that means we have to, to market and we have to buy ads and we have to tell our story and we have to do connections. And I have no shame in that because our customers, or at least a percentage of them, they're going to understand that mission from our emails, from our communication, from the ads that we buy that really emphasize how you can live a better life and how you can invest in yourself and how you can love yourself.